Hey friends, here at the cabin today doing some work. We're actually getting our little off-grid solar system all set up. And one of the things we really needed is a battery monitor. Now this is the Lee Time battery monitor. It's a 500 amp battery monitor. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how our system works, where we're gonna put this, and how you set it up. But I thought it might be helpful to show you our solar system. So outside we have a couple of panels hooked up right now. Again, we're in the really, really basic beginning versions of this. These panels run down into our basement. Now down here in our crawl space basement, the solar panels come in from over there from the front of the cabin. They run past our little water cistern here and they go into our charge controller. Now this is the Outback Power Systems charge controller. And when it gets hooked up, it's really gonna monitor our flow of power. Now, out of the charge controller, we will be going into our battery bank. And obviously this is where all that solar power will be stored. Now obviously you can see this is a 12 volt system that we are building. Now, once the power's been stored, we can then swap it over to alternating current or AC power. And that's gonna come out of these wires once they're attached into the inverter. And the inverter then, as you can see, has plugs that we can plug all of our electronics into and get power for the cabin. Now, here's the problem we run into. We really can't monitor how much power is in this battery with these components alone. And that's where this comes into play. This is gonna allow us to monitor all that battery storage as well as how much is being depleted using the inverter in our AC power. Now over here in our kitchen is gonna be a great place where we have that monitor. It allows us at a very quick glance to check and see how we are, how much is being used, and if we're at a critical level where we're gonna run out of power soon. We'll also be able to at a glance see how much solar power is coming into our battery storage. So let me show you exactly what's included when you open up the box here. Basically we've got a little product manual. We have a monitoring wire. You can see that this is six meters of wire. So that's gonna be plenty to go up from the basement directly above into our kitchen living area. And this monitor here can then sit on our wall very easily so that we can at a glance get all that great information. Now, the other things we have are a little power cable right here. And that is what's gonna power that monitor and give it the juice it needs. And then we also have this little shunt. And using these are really important to get accurate battery measurements. Now for review purposes, all of this feels really, really decent quality. Doesn't feel like junk. This is kind of a lightweight plastic, but this shunt feels really, really heavy duty. It's got this plastic mounting piece to it. Okay, so we've got our components down in the basement now. Let's go ahead and get everything hooked up minus the solar input to the charge controller. So at this point, again, we're not working with any input power. First thing is to actually connect this B side, the B minus side here. There's a little nut you have to undo. There's a lock washer underneath there. And we're gonna connect this over to the negative terminal here on our battery. Okay, with our shunt connected with the negative side of the battery, it's now time to connect the inverter and the charge controller. Again, we're using the negative cables. So again, same thing, we're just going to loosen up this nut over here, and I'm gonna connect the inverter negative side as well as the negative side for the charge controller. Again, we're on the P side over here. So again, we can see that the top cable is for the inverter negative, and the other black cable is for the charge controller that comes up like that. So that's all of our negative connections. Okay, it's next time to give power to our display. And obviously the wires for the display are gonna be coming out of here and up into our upper room. But in order to get power, we have to connect this red wire over to the positive terminal on the battery. So this little guy is gonna go in the top here on those little B slots. Thankfully, the company's included a little screwdriver that's perfect for this little screw here. Should look like this when it's inserted properly. So next we're gonna take the positive side from the inverter, as well as the positive side from the charge controller. We're gonna slip them onto this same bolt and put them into the positive side over here. Now be very careful of this. There's actually a spark, a little bit of discharge that happens when you touch the positive to these batteries, or at least on my system it does. So again, use a lot of caution with this. So now we can see that the charge controller has power, positive side of the inverter that has power, as well as the shunt having power now so we can plug in the display. Okay, so we're gonna take one end of our six meter cable, and we're gonna plug it, the white, into the white here. And on the backside of the monitor, you'll find the other 
white clip where we can put the other end of that cable into. And immediately you can see we get power. And basically we can now monitor our battery. Now again, we need to walk through the settings and get this thing so that it has a proper initial reading so it can base future readings, input and output properly. But again, that's basically the initial setup. Now all of this is a hot mess, I realize that. We are not gonna keep this as a permanent setup. I just wanted to show you again how everything is connected. We're gonna clean all this up, make sure the system works really good, make sure we have power getting into our charge controller, and then we'll show you our setup once it's nice and cleaned up. This is obviously gonna be run upstairs, and again, I think this is gonna work out really, really great. So, cool little product, I really love the display. We'll be showing you more of the settings here in the future. Remember, you can buy one of these right here on Amazon. We'll put some links in the description box below. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay tuned. we got a ton more of these little DIY solar videos, as well as a whole bunch more stuff from the cabin coming up soon. See you in the next one.